and welcome back. I'm Mabel John. You're watching continuing coverage of WHCC TV here at uh, Washington, D.C. Thanks so much for joining us. And I'm so pleased to be able to talk with uh, of someone from Oscar Health. He is Dr. Dennis Weaver, Chief Clinical Officer. Dr. Weaver, it's so great to see you. Thanks for having us. And you, we have been able to speak with Oscar uh, about Oscar Health since the company first started a few years ago, and then we got a check in with Alan Warren last year. What attracted you to this particular company, having come from uh, practicing and then coming from a very traditional company right before joining Oscar? Um, I love Oscar, and, and what attracted me was uh, the, the two components of it. When I was recruited, one, uh, we say we've got two heartbeats that beat in the chest of Oscar. One is a tech company, and one is an insurance company. And so being a tech company, building all of our own technology and our capabilities really gives us to have a different experience um, for our members and I think that's the second piece that attracted me not just the tech and insurance combination but the absolute commitment to um, how we want to be a different kind of healthcare company for our members for the consumers that are out there really engage them and have them be a key part of, of, of who we are but who they are help them solve their health care problems can you give me an example how of how technology is really integrated into the members experience. You bet. So one of the things that we do is, as everybody thinks about technology as an app or a website or those things, but frankly, all of us want to communicate in different ways. Um, and it, everybody thinks it's not necessarily by your age, it's more by how do you like to communicate. So one of the things that we have are concierge teams, and the key piece of Oscar is that our concierge teams, every, every member when they interact with us, interact with the consistent same team all the time. Three guides a nurse and a social worker and so all the time you interact with the same no matter what your question or concern is and then the technology part of it is the multimodal communication if you want to talk to us on the phone you can talk to us on the phone if you want to email us if you want to text us or frankly one of the big things that members absolutely love is our mobile app very intuitive many many members interact with us on the mobile app yes. and not just uh, the younger generation but many folks my age and older want to interact with us just by text or email or on the app, uh, back and forth communication. And so the tech really helps us to communicate and add value to the patients, to the members' lives, no matter how uh, they want to interact with us. Well, in my early um, discussions with Oscar, when Oscar was first starting out, that's that was the big platform, yes. the virtual experience, yep. the, the mobile app. Now that you've gotten bigger, Will you encounter some of the barriers to growth that some of the more traditional companies have encountered over the years? I hope not. I, I don't think so, frankly, at this point. We continue to focus on engaging with our members um, and have, providing value in their lives. Um, Health care is complicated, and one of the things we want to do is, is help our members through whatever health care journey there is. If they're healthy, uh, they may have something that's happened acutely or urgently, help them through that. Or somebody who's uh, more chronic disease or ill, we want to help them through that journey as well too. And so one of the things we try to do is use our technology, our communications platforms to engage them uh, at whatever time of life they have uh, that they want to communicate with us and then in any modem that they want to communicate with us. One of the other comments I'd make about being a, a tech company or the background is the data science that we put into really understanding what your needs are and even trying to anticipate your needs uh, before you're having them and then being there for you to help support you from a uh, patient engagement customer service standpoint mm -hmm. is a critical component mm -hmm. of what we're trying to do. Does Oscar uh, reap the benefits of being a, a relatively new company um, that didn't have to fix things because you started fresh? You're very insightful. You're very insightful. I think one of the things that is a huge differentiator for us is because we built all of our own technology we built all of our own data model. We built all our own claim system. We built all of our own customer relationship management system because it's all been built uniquely by us, for us, and for the engagement of our members. It is it is a huge differential advantage we have at this point because we're not dealing with any legacy um, 
um, systems, any legacy challenges that exist with that, and we have the ability then to continue to build going forward. Yeah, nothing that had to be nothing, grandfathered nothing in. Nothing that had to be grandfathered in or built before. You started your career as an OB GIN. Yep. OB GIN. Um, how would what would have benefited you having a system like Oscar around when you first started? You know the the other piece we've talked a lot so far about um, our members, the patients. But the other thing that we're really really focused on at Oscar is to have a different kind of experience between uh, the health plan, the payer, and the providers, whether it be a hospital system or an individual doc. And one of the things I'm extremely proud out of in my leadership that we have at Oscar of interacting with docs is how can you take the friction that exists in the American healthcare system, the administrative burden, the approvals, the delay in claims payments, all of those things, if we could wave a magic wand and make it, all of those go away, we absolutely would. And so we're very dedicated on our tech interfaces as well as our uh, uh, basically DNA to say we want to make healthcare easy not just for the patients and the members but we also want to make it easy for essentially the doctors that are in the system how can we get them the information how can we create less administrative burden for them so that they can be focused um, on the patients which we want them to be focused on not on the back-end issues mm -hmm. of having to deal with the patient's insurance company okay dr. Weaver how are you enjoying the conference so I far? love the conference it's very good thank you uh, it's it's a, a lot of excellent speakers. It's a, a good conversation as well. It, it's been very nice so far. Thank you. Dr. Weaver, thank you so much for your Appreciate time. Appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you for tuning in. Stay with us.